What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Billy Mac. I got a weird look on my face because my webcam just kind of stopped. It just kind of stopped, and I don't know what happened. But everything else was running. So maybe it maybe maybe the computer screen just decided to go to sleep or something like that. And that's what's that's what caused the issue. Anyway, today's video, last video previewing the offseason for the Dallas Cowboys. Um we're gonna take a look at the 2022-2023 opponents for the Dallas Cowboys. Um this season. We're going to play the NFC North and the AFC South. Uh, our 17th, and of course, we got a first place schedule. So we're going to play the, since it's the NFC North, the South would be the bank, the Buccaneers, excuse me. And then the West would be the Rams. So um, in the 17th game, is the AFC North. It corresponds with the same um, NFC division. It corresponds with the same NFC division because we're already playing a first place schedule with the other NFC teams. So we're playing the AFC North, which is going to be the Bengals. So with that said, regardless, we're going to play the Super Bowl winner again this season. Mm -hmm. And usually that's usually that's that's not how it depends. It depends, you know, because if the AFC wins the Super Bowl, you might, you know, you only have to play for a if you're in the NFC, you only have to play for AFC teams. So the chances of you playing the Super Bowl win are low, but it just so happens, you know, we're going to end up playing the Super Bowl winner this season between the Bengals and the Rams. Um, Let's go ahead and get this out the way. NFC East opponents, Eagles, Giants, and Washington football team. It all depends on Deshaun Watson and Aaron Rodgers. Philly has enough capital to go get one of those guys. Whether Aaron, whether Aaron just comes in as a free agent or Deshaun, they trade for Deshaun Watson. They have enough capital to get either one of those guys. Slight chance that Washington might get one of those guys, but it's slight. I think New York has chosen to stick with Daniel Jones. Um, I like Danny Dimes. I I I didn't like him in the beginning, but I the dude's competitive. I think that's what I like about him. He is competitive. He's shown some a competitive spirit. So if you show some competitiveness, I like you. Um Let's see. So let's get into the home games. First, let's start with the AFC, with the NFC North. We ha we're going to play the Bears and the Lions. Now, both of those should be wins. Um, Bears can go either way. It depends on who their offensive coordinator is going to be. Whoever their offensive coordinator is going to be determines who they're going to um, who they're going to play or how they're going to play against the Cowboys. We also and that's that's the, that's for the NFC North. For the AFC South, we have the Colts and the Texans. Now, if that Colts team pretty much stays the way it is, I think that's a loss. Yeah, I think that's a loss because Jonathan Taylor is that dude. And we have not proven we can stop the run. Hopefully, we can stop the run this season. Texans, though. Here's the crazy thing about the Texans. I think in regular season play, in regular season play, I think the Texans have a winning record against the Cowboys. They have our number. I don't know what it is. We just cannot. Be, we'll beat them in preseason all day long, but during the regular season, we do not. We do not play well against the Texans. And then our seventeenth game. I'm say the seventeenth game. Not saying it's the last game of the season, but it's the added game to the sixteen game season 
or 16 game schedule will be the Cincinnati Bengals. So we have Cincinnati at home. So there's a great chance that's not going to be that opening Thursday night game. There's a great chance. Because why would you have the Super Bowl? If they win the Super Bowl, why would you have the Super Bowl winners playing, be the visiting team, the opening season of the of the opening game of the season? It makes no sense. So let's go to the away games. We have the Eagles, Washington, Eagles, Giants, Washington. We have the Packers. Now, I think that's a win. I think that's a win. I'm not scared of the Packers. I think I think the Dallas Cowboys are the perfect team. It like even when the playoffs started before, even though we knew we were playing San Francisco, like if you had asked me which teams like ranked the teams as far as like fear for lack of a better term, fear of facing uh number 1 would have been Philly. Not scared of Philly. And then 2A and 2B would have been Tampa Bay and Green Bay. I was not scared of either one of those teams at all. At all. So I I think that's going to be a win. And then Aaron Rodgers will be gone too. I think that's going to be a win. Minnesota, that should be a win, even though Minnesota is very tough to play at home. Um, But no Mike Zimmer. Mike Zimmer's been fired. I always... New coaches, they it's a little difficult, man. Now, if they bring in somebody who's coached before, and you know, I'll give them a chance. But if they bring in somebody brand new, we ain't never coached before. I think that's I think that's a win for us. We got the Rams at home now. That very may well be that very well may be a Thursday night season opener game. You got the most popular team in in America versus. The Super Bowl champions again. So we might play the Rams on Thursday night football if they win the Super Bowl, of course. And then um, here's here's the interesting thing. So we have the Titans. That's a loss. Not even going to. I'm not even that. That that looks like a month. Last time we played the Titans was on Monday night football. And when I tell you Mike Vrabel just made our team look like the most unprepared team ever in life. They took our souls that game. That's a loss. Um, The Jacksonville Jaguars and it's an away game. So there is a good chance that game is played in London and the Dallas Cowboys have a very very popular fan base in London. So that's probably going to be a London game, but we shall see. But so either way, it's a win <laughs> depending on who their coach is going to be too. Um, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I got thirteen wins this season now, uh, or this coming season. Now, this last season when I did the when I did the schedule, I had the Cowboys going seven and nine. And quite frankly, if you look at the way they played in that playoff game, they played like a seven and nine team. If you look at the way they played the Raiders, the Cardinals, uh. Who was that other team they should have beat or they could have beaten the Chiefs in all three of those games? They played like a seven and nine team. So even though I was wrong about the record, I was right. I was right in the way that they played. I had them going seven and nine because I knew they were going to lose games. They should not have lost. And they did it again this season. They had every reason to beat the Chiefs. You held the Chiefs to 19 points. You had every reason to beat the Chiefs. You took the Raiders to Overton. You you came back on them. You shouldn't have came back on them. You came back on them, took them to overtime. You had got the ball first, and you lost. The Cardinals, you held the Cardinals scoreless in the fourth quarter and still couldn't win that game. Had a chance to beat San Francisco. 
need I say anymore? You play like a seven and nine team. So based on this, based on this schedule, you have every reason to go 13, 13 and four. You have every reason. No, and the games that I have you losing, here's the sad part. The games I have you losing are the home games. The only away game I feel like, you, well, I forgot about the Titans. So really, okay, so it's half and half. I got you losing to the Rams. I got you losing to the Titans. I got you losing to the Colts. Okay, never mind, 12 and 5. I got you 12 and 5 because I got you losing to the Colts, the Texans, and the Bengals. Now, granted, there's some there's some caveats in there. Who's the Texans coach going to be? Who their who's going to be their quarterback? Who's who? Uh, who is who is the um, who's the Bears' offensive coordinator? And who is the Vikings' coach? Who's going to quarterback the Packers? There's a lot of there's a lot of um, there's a lot of variables variables in there, but. I'm going to do this video again after free agency, after the draft, once these teams have found their coaches and everything, we're going to do this video again. But based on that, Dallas Cowboys should go 12 and 5. Easy. Easy. So that's just my opinion. We shall see. It's your boy, Billy Mack. And I'll holla at y'all next time.